It's Sunday. Why yelling? That's how I always do it. And you're always like, that wasn't a good one. And because we've taken such a hiatus. Yeah, but the thing is, if I try to force it to be too cool, it'll come off wor- way worse. Can you just do it one more time with more pizzazz? It's Sunday. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to try so hard that it's going to squeak <laughs> out of my mouth. It's like, why are you yelling? You know, and you're like, what the fuck was that? And I'm like, I told you I didn't you want to. You know how it work? Th- there's this girl there. She's like maybe 24. I don't have any girls in, work here. in my job. My, my, right. The job that pays, right. The job that pays for my insurance. Okay. Um, every time she makes a sale, I'll just turn around and she's just like this. So now the, <laughs> oh, she does it to you? Yeah, so now the whole team is starting to slowly just do this Hell every yeah. time there's a big sale. I, I think c- like half our vlog next week is literally me walking around and trying to do things like that. Traps look good. I tried to... Really? Yeah, a little bit. You can see it. A little formation. Oh, uh, that's the shirt. It like fits nice. I I took the shirt off. You wouldn't say the same. Withered. Yeah. Nice. I'm a frail man. This is the first, this is the first <laughs> podcast we have done in this room. We finally put it together. I have a feeling uh, that looks good. That looks, that looks good. good. That looks good. Camera one, camera two. I don't know how it's going to be cut up, but we have like a real fucking studio going on here. It's very nice. It's exceeded expectations. Really? It did. Like you, <laughs> like five months Fair, ago. This your was, expectations. This was like yeah. blue <laughs> in like 10 different shades. We had to, you know, we had some growing pains. Yeah. We finally put it together. I'm, I'm excited to see what the final product looked like as a, as a video, but I think, uh, I think now we could do this podcast like daily. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Twice a day. <laughs> Twice a day. I just sleep with sexy uh, pants in the front. But no, now that we have this, we could pump out a lot of multi-people content that's a little bit more like long form. Like the couch stuff is uh, is fun, but it's always like very short form. Like we do that yeah. where it's like, yo, topic. Let's like get on the couch, two minutes, whatever, rip it off. But this is the room that we'll be doing while yelling, you know, whether we want to bring back Animal's House. And like in season, we have three or four people talking about fantasy and stuff like that. We'll do it in this room. So had yeah. to have a room like this. To be honest with you, like the office itself it kind of worked out perfectly in terms of like space space. Yeah. You no, know? it definitely every, honestly, that's, you have like the biggest waste of space, but I feel like you're going to use that for the merchandise or some shit. Eventually. Yeah, like we will eventually use everything. But yeah. But everything else like you built is very nice. I've been here for about three months now. Yeah. That's it. I think so. I just paid rent for the first time. How was that? It sucked. Are you poor again? I just got a, a charge on my bank statement because I went under the amount of, money we're allowed to have in it do you know did you know that uh what was that news to you i like you forgot had? about it because it hadn't mattered for a long time and now it matters things matter again oh uh, no i feel things again <laughs> you just wake up and you overdraft we're sad yeah we're back to senior year in high school yeah. no the the office looks nice I, th- I don't think i've seen you in like eight weeks yeah it's been a while dude my On life has been in sh- shambles yeah enough about you <laughs> now did you uh did you get the job uh i'm waiting it looks good Looks better than usually does. So that's it that's always does. Point. I almost don't even want you to say anything until you have like offer in hand. Yeah, I just hope I don't get it, so I can feel pain again. Can okay. you come work for us? No, thank you. Everyone today, very bad mood. Tony, mad. Animal, mad. Is that like a daily thing that everyone's just mad? Uh, no. There was a lot of uh, there was a lot of fight happening today. I'm not sure why. That's usually never the case. But you just kept walking past them. Isn't it your job to be like enough? No, because it's like it doesn't happen often. It's all petty shit when they're fighting. Okay. So it's just like moving a camera around. It's supposed to be here. It's supposed to be here. It's supposed to be here. I'm just like, shut your mouth and let's podcast. You know, like I don't care. No, this is great. This this room. So now I've been watching. I haven't been honestly. I just check on your YouTube channel and I see you make like one or two vlogs a month. So are you going now? You're gonna go back to podcasting? Like, are you guys doing Fade the Public? Are you guys doing like any of that? I'm like very confused. Okay. So what ske- are you guys? The schedule right now. To be honest, like right now we're kind of like two. Almost two s- separate entities. It's almost like YouTube and TikTok are like yeah. two businesses within BDGE. Who'd have fucking thought? I mean, me, but we didn't have <laughs> the fucking power to put out TikToks at volume, and now we do, and we saw what happened with it real fucking quick. So right now, like YouTube is basically, you know, I came to the decision. I was just like, there's not the the content that you guys can make will just not be on our YouTube. It's just not the same. Like we know what value we provide on YouTube, right? It's like. It's informative straight content. Yeah, it's just straight like to your face cool. fucking content. So I do videos basically Monday, Tuesday. Noah takes Wednesday. We have the office vlog on Thursday. I usually do Friday, live stream Saturday, and then Noah will take Sunday. Oh, so you're doing seven days. We're doing seven days collectively. Noah takes two of them. Vlog is one of them. Oh. One of them's a live stream. So we, okay. I mean, we've been seven days for as long. Honestly, we've been seven days almost for like fucking three years now for the most part. Outside of me like missing. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I, miss, I probably miss like one day a week. So we're probably yeah, like yeah. six days 
but that's the plan right now. And then TikTok, we have about five videos a day, three to five videos a day going up. Um, but it, it's, it's worked out perfectly because like, I can focus on YouTube and it's almost like we're all collectively, like we're not all collectively onto YouTube together. Like they edit my videos basically is how it's looked at. TikTok, we're all collectively in it together. You know, yeah. we're all content creators on TikTok. You go on our TikTok and it's like, you know, I'm in some of it, but I'm like 20% of the content. Yeah, on no, there, yeah, you know? yeah. And it's awesome that we've, it's awesome that we've been able to actually like successfully grow that way because everyone's equally like invested into it, equally thinking about different ideas for it, equally producing it, editing it. And I could like, I could not be here for three fucking days. We're going to have 20 TikToks go up in that time. I don't have to be here for it. Gotcha. How do you, how does it feel like you for six years? I know you said in a tweet, like for six years, you've been building up a YouTube and literally in like three days, TikTok blew up and it's just like, are you fucking kidding me for lunch? Or, or does that not get you mad at all? It doesn't. No, it doesn't get me mad. I feel like that'll get me furious. I, I think it probably get a lot of people furious, but it's just like, okay, we're going to start doing something on TikTok and then it worked and I'm going to get mad about it. Like, yeah, we chose but to do that. But it's not even something I get what you're saying. Cause the level connected. of success is wild. Yeah. So if, if you guys are like watching for the first time or you don't have TikTok or follow us on TikTok, we've been like putting out TikToks like a little bit for a while, maybe like a year or so. Right. And we probably built up to maybe like 5,000 followers on there and we have 65, 70 on YouTube. Uh, and then over the last month to month and a half, we've gone from 5,000 up to 175,000. So we have almost three times as many followers on TikTok as YouTube. And it came within like, Three days, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, it can't, if you're not within, uh, we feel like we've been doing it forever, to be honest with yeah. you, because we're doing so much of it. But if you're on the outside, it's probably like, you know, every week you check and it's another 50,000 followers. Um, so it's it's taken on a life of its own. And like, no, I can't be mad about it. You know, it's just like, these are the, I said I wanted to expand more into like a media brand. And like, these are the things that come along with it. You know, like there's ways to drive. I mean, talking about what we do with that audience, you know, yeah. is something that I need to probably think a, a little about more. But I don't think we've like earned the right to really start to like, try to make money on TikTok or sure. start to even think about those things. We've been doing it for like a month, a month and a half. We have 175,000 subs. Like by the end of the summer, I wouldn't be surprised if we have half a million, if not more than that, you know? Yeah, that's ridiculous. And, and it's like, it's nice to see that you're still putting fantasy football content. So mm -hmm. people know that's like what you guys are about. Yeah. Even well, if they don't know you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll always, that'll always be part of it. So, yeah. So I think like at the end of the summer, I, we take like a hard look at what we actually want to do with like TikTok. And, but for now it's just like, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. No, that's true. Well, it's about to be broke. A water broke. Ike's fiance is about to have her baby. What do you? What are you guys gonna do? That's your main bread and butter. <laughs> yeah. Have so, you thought about that? That was yeah, a great of course, fucking. Of course, that was not bad. No, you're not too. Uh, fucking you're not heck. too rusty, despite your rustic hair color. Going on there. Next. Um. So yeah. So Ike is about to have a baby. By the time you guys see this, this will go up probably Sunday. I think he's latest they're doing it on Tuesday. So it's like if, if it doesn't naturally pop out by Tuesday, we're doing it Tuesday. So that was the first ever call I got on with like when I called them all up individually and I was like, yo, we're going, we're getting an office. I'm going full time and I'm hiring you full time. That was like one of the first things he said to me. He was like, I'm having a baby in the summer. And I was like, yeah, we'll worry about that <laughs> when it gets there. I don't know what the BDG maternity policies and shit like yeah. that, but he wants to be here bad. Um, Like his fiance is like very bought into what we're doing and shit too. So she's like, I could probably handle a lot of it on my own. At first, as like a business owner, I've never encountered this before, right? So I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how does this work? He's going to be gone. Because he was like, I need the whole month of June with my baby. Which I'm makes like, sense. I'm like, of course. Yeah. yeah like, I, I don't really know what to do with that information, but like you do that and I'll try to figure it out from my side. Send a fruit basket. Send, a, But I mean like payment wise. I'm like, listen, I don't know how that works. I'm like, does, I, I'm like stupid, bro. Like, I don't know this stuff. I'm like, you can talk this off camera. I know all about it. Yeah. Well, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, do, does the, do you like file for maternity leave? And then like the government pays you, does my business insurance cover that? Like, I don't know these things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I'm, like, I'm like, you're just going to go off for two months. I'm just like paying you full salary over that time. So these are things that are going through my head and I'm not like going to like sacrifice the like energy in here and be like, you're not getting paid, you know, while you're gone or whatever. But he yeah. comes back and he's like, listen, I think I'm only going to be gone for two weeks. And he still wants to work. Yeah. I mean, he can go like a little part time. Yeah. That, which yeah. is what he's going to be doing. Yeah, so yeah. basically his duties now were like doing the individual videos as we needed to see fit. And then he was documenting the vlog stuff mm -hmm. like that will go to sexy. Yeah. Um, he'll take that over, which I don't think. And I will still be able to edit that stuff. So most of the stuff he's doing, he could, he could do from home for the most part. So, I think we're just going to continue business as usual. Yeah. Like he'll get paid normally. He's not gone for a long time. But the TikToks. He doesn't edit the TikToks. No, I know, but he is the TikTok. Oh, you mean Ike's launch? <laughs> yeah. Well, we've done it from home a couple of times. Yeah, where basically we do it and then like he'll videotape shit coming up to the door. 
I feel like I didn't know my dad till age five. Wait, like, do what? you think? Like, I'm sorry, that just popped in my head. Oh, okay. I'm okay. That, that was like relevant to. <laughs> yeah. What, like, okay. I'm just, I'm just thinking. Like, I feel like a baby doesn't need a father until like five. Well, dude, a baby doesn't like a father doesn't need their baby until like nine, probably. Are we just gonna keep adding? And then like they both don't need each other they until don't, twelve. No one needs <laughs> to have kids anymore. No, like you ever seen that uh, fucking Louis C.K. skit? Where he's talking about he's like literally if you don't listen to a thing your child says until like age five, nothing in your life changes. Hundred percent. I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but like, I mean, it's not, it's not so much like he doesn't need it. It's not me like, yeah, your baby doesn't need you. I need you in the office. It's more just like he wants to be with his fucking baby. You know, like I'm sure his fiance wants him to be with his baby too. You and I are two different bosses. Uh, the other thing is too, it's not like, it's not anything that serious. That's like, not. You know what I mean? Like you can be home for two weeks and then come in for two days and be home for two days. Like, yeah, 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 you know, we don't have a we have this fucking unlimited PTO here. You know, are you serious? Unlimited PTO, no health insurance. You take, take what you need. They don't have health insurance. I don't have health insurance. You don't have health insurance? No. Isn't that illegal? Or is that like car insurance? It's illegal to have car insurance. It's illegal not to have car insurance. Okay. It could, might be illegal not to have health insurance. <laughs> well, if My you guys mom pretty much makes it illegal not to have health insurance. <laughs> I love how your mom is like, for your birthday, I got you a heart scan. And you're like, fuck no. off. <laughs> she was like, she wants to get me the echocardiogram fucking machine. I actually have one of those appointments in like two months. Can't wait. I can't, I'm going to have to cancel my, on my mom last minute. She's going to lose her shit. Don't cancel it. I needed to make sure that Too heart's still going. It's going. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Say it one more time. I'm fine. Okay. Fine. How's the um the website going along? I saw. I still haven't. I haven't seen the guy's face. The Chris? web developer. I only see his hair in the back. I'm like, oh, that's a new guy. Um. Yeah. It's going. It's going good. He's coming in tomorrow. So he works from home pretty much like four days a week. Okay. Um. He's he's fine. He's doing great. My like timetables on things. I just want to speed everything up really quickly. Yeah. With those things, you can't. Yeah. I mean, I had a conversation with him the other day. I was. Almost like this is what I want done. This is when I want it done. Tell me what needs what do to I need get to build? Done. What bridge do I need to build for you to get it? Yeah. So he said he had a couple of friends that like work in the industry that he trusts that could help him do it. So I'm like, if we need to hire them on a contract basis, but we just have a lot of things going on within the website that isn't finalized yet. So it's hard for me to like pitch it. It's hard for me to like make money off of it yet. But we have other projects that I want to start uh, engineering and building scripts for. Yeah. That he's going to need to do for us because no one else knows how to do it. They're all coming at us very quickly. You seem nervous. I am fucking nervous. I'm running like a fucking ha- business. I feel like this happens every year with the draft guide, but now you have 10 draft guides. Yeah. Like, th- this is like They're not the called draft they're, guides. They're called different things, but they're always. Yeah. Well, this is, I feel like this is kind of different though, because every year it feels like I'm like, oh, we're building the foundation for it. But this actually feels like that. That's it. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever actually felt good about saying that before, but this time I'm like, when this is all said and done. When like September, October runs around, we're going to have like an amazing product that we don't need to, all we're doing is innovating on top of. Is the draft guide out? The rookie, the first one is, yeah. What the about other, like the? The other one does I mean, that doesn't go live till like later into the summer anyways. Okay. So. It's, you think you're going to get that done in time? I feel like it never gets done in time. It always gets done in time. It never gets Last done Last year, it just didn't because those fuck that agency we worked with was absolute shite. And that should be fine for August 1st launch. And then you have the that whole NFT thing you're trying to work on. Is that still a thing? I know the market's down. So is that oh, yeah. like that's like the only thing right now. Like you're still all in on it's it. It's the only thing on top of all the other things we just talked about. That's a big thing. That's a huge thing. And yeah. it's still on track. Yeah, I hope so. What can you explain it again? Yeah. Or is that because um, I feel like you've talked about it, but also okay, haven't so talked about it. That's the BDG bash, right? It's the big dog bash. It's the name of the NFT project. I don't even really want to call it an NFT project because then like that comes with certain connotations to it. We're basically hosting a giant, um, if you want to take a line of the cocaine, just do it, Steve. Stop looking at it. I want to make sure I put it back on the coaster. The coaster. Stop trying to gather your thoughts and just go. Hold on. Need some brain juice. You were talking. That's why I drank. That's why I did it. But I kept seeing you stare at something over there. And then I'm like, why the fuck has he got two phones? And why is he also doing cocaine in the middle of a podcast? Dude, they said two phones is normal. Three phones, you're... Up to no good. I know what you're up to. Okay, shut up. Bash. Big dog bash. It's a fantasy football league with 1,200 people in it. Okay? 1,200 people. The only way to get entrance into it is by owning one of the bash NFTs. We create the NFT. People mint the NFT. They get access to the bash. The bash is being hosted by Sleeper, which is like the platform that hosts fantasy football leagues. Yeah, we, I mean, we've been on multiple calls with them. Yeah, that's okay. that's happening. There's just a ton of moving parts, obviously, connecting Web 2 and Web 3 together. 
from like an API and the coding standpoint, which is where it's like, Chris, we need you to do this. Yeah. But he's like, I got seven projects already lined up that I need to finish. And I'm like, okay, but we're working with a web three agency that's helping us out with it. Gotcha. Right now. Next step is we want to have like a promo hype video out for it. Two weeks from like today, June 15th or 16th. The official mint date will be August 1st. Also the same date as the season long draft guy dropping, but that will be the mint date for it, which is when people from like when we drop the hype video all the way up until August 1st, we'll be getting like signups almost like you go on a, what it's called a white list, mm-hmm. but it's almost like a pre-order list. So you're putting your name down. You don't buy anything up front, but you put your name down saying, I want to reserve a spot to mint one of these NFTs. So we have to build up the demand for 1200 people. That's yeah. That's gonna be my it's going to be difficult because the price point, it, it's tough to talk about a price point right now because ETH is so fluctuate. Like, you know, it's all over the place, very volatile. But the way I pitched it, what you saw on Twitter was me or Discord and Twitter. I basically said, uh, hey, we're working on a big project here. I'd love feedback from like our customers, our users or whatever. You guys tell us what you like, what you think is like awesome about this. What would make you hesitant to actually jump in? Yep. When I said it, I gave him a price point of like 300 to $500 to get him. Now, the NFT entrance, the NFT that you own gets you access to this for the next three years. Okay. So it gets you into the league 2022, 23, 24. So when you look at it that way, if we make it $300, basically we're probably going to have to take like an ETH price point and put it at a USD price point. Say like, mm-hmm. okay, mint price is 0.25 because that's what $400 right now in ETH is. But that's going to get tricky too. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that. But I, I pitched it as 300 to $500. And most of them came back. I probably got, I'd say 50 to 70 people in terms of like feedback from it. Yeah. Overwhelmingly positive for yeah. the most part. They're all like, I would buy in. If realistically, that's $100 a year. That's like a normal fantasy football league. Um, some of them, the, the problem with like getting feedback from like the masses, the masses is like, you know, you get some crazy people in there that are like, this should be a hundred dollars. You should get access to unlimited. I'm like, it's not, it's like literally, it's not practical, you know? Cause basically you're in this league and we will be, we're fine. We're figuring out a lot of ways for it to be like very weird and quirky and innovative in terms of like prizes and giveaways. Right. So basically it's 1200 people. It's a hundred individual leagues. So the same way that yeah. E-Town got down is one league, right? Gotcha. 12 people in each league, 12 times hundred, 1200 people. And all those guys are playing against each other. And then one person wins each league. So that moves on to a hundred people left, right? Yeah. And basically the regular season will be like weeks one through 12. And then the hundred people are left after week 12. They play all against all each other, 13 to 17. So it's like the 50 highest scores from week 13 move on. The 20 highest scores, the 10 highest scores. And my... The way I'm thinking about this is like, I'm, I'm like, dude, I want to make this as crazy and cool as possible. So I'm yeah. thinking about like grand prizes. And I'm thinking about how do we have like rarity tiers within the fucking project itself to create demand in the off season for people to want to follow it. I'd like to have like the final two people. We'll fly them out to New York. They'll watch like the games with us in here, the two finalists of it. And like the bash winner. I'm actually curious what you think, like an overall grand prize for the person who wins the bash. I was, I was going to say, I would like to give away equity in our company to no. the winner. That's that's insane. That's a lot. That's it, that's that's the reaction I'd like to hear. That's insane. Yeah. That's a great fucking reaction. Everyone, every single person I told that to said it's a bad idea, which makes me feel like it's a great fucking idea. I want to make this like the fucking. I thing. know, but I feel like they, you could do like twenty thousand other things instead of giving equity I in agree. a company. Yeah, I mean, I'm not uh, give them fucking twenty thousand shares. It's like point zero two percent of the company. But it's 20,000 shares if we blow the fuck up and you win the fucking bash. Like, this is the first of the coolest project hopefully we ever drop. Yeah. That's a lot to just say right now. Yeah. Because I, I have no rebuttal except saying that's insane. That's so, what you wanted. You caught me off guard. That's not yeah, fair. Yeah, so this is, in my mind, I haven't really brought it up publicly a lot. But, like, in my mind, that's what I imagine this being. Like, something that you hear. I see, like, like, say the guys out there, right, when they hi- signed those contracts and then you gave them equity. Like, I feel like it's a little like, oh, fuck you. They just won fantasy football <laughs> and they get a little bit of equity. I don't give a fuck. It's not about that. I guess. And they all fucking have equity too in the company. No, I know. But it's just like <laughs> they worked hard for it and someone just won a fantasy league. That's I how mean, I Well, that's it. what you get for buying into our first thing. That's nuts. Yeah. Well, that's what I want to yeah. do. But anyways, that's that, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be that, but that's the energy yeah. I'm trying to be like, yeah, like that it's reaction big. you yeah, just yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah. is like, I want to get that from 5,000 people. Be like, whoa. I get you. You know what I mean? I get you. Um, so we're but, working through different things like that. We have, okay. So we have some of this basically like, okay, so we get that buy-in up front. Right. And a lot of people have come back with like, Oh, we do the math. Like that's like a lot of money up front. And I'm like, okay, correct. But you have to understand if we want to give away 10 grand prizes, let's say one of them's like the Super Bowl trip with somebody else. 
like 5G's out the door right yeah. there. Uh, half of it's going to taxes right away. We have to talk about fucking probably if we have 1,200 NFTs, 100 of them, if not 200 of them, are going to friends, influencers, influencers to give away to their community, guys that we just want in the league, but yeah. they're not going to buy in if we just like tell them about the project. Gotcha. So there goes probably 10% of the revenue we would have made off that as well. Uh, the Web3 agency we're working with is probably taking like a 10% cut on Mint Day. We yeah. have whoever's doing the art for us, another cut. Three years of all of this. So it's like, it ain't that much fucking money. Like, no, we're, yeah, not, like we're not looking to make profit off this. You Like, it's literally when we do the fantasy football weekend. The first three years, we didn't make money. I don't even know if we made money this year, but then it, the, the wheels start turning. Yes. You put it all back in. It's just like your company. So exactly. that part makes 100%. Like, yeah, correct. so it's, yeah, so it's like the little feedback we had, like some people are like, uh, it should be unlimited. I'm like, it's not practical. Through, like, we don't have unlimited money to give you. You're paying for it. Some people were like, it should be higher priced, honestly, because yeah. it's high stakes. I'm like, we're going to, that's the, the demand will be killed if we make it a thousand dollars to buy in. I think that, I think that no, price I think point the, pla is like perfect. the platform you're doing and everything like that, it sounds like it's going to work out. My only concern is the 12, you think you can find 1200 people that I want, like want to like mint, get the NFT, understand that. Like, yeah, the, that's the other feedback. I mean, that's the only, like, I know you're, yeah. it's a niche right now. And 90% of the feedback we got was literally like, Okay, I'm gonna give you feedback, but just let you know I don't know fucking anything about NFTs or crypto. Exactly. So you're taking all. You know, I feel like you're gonna be very surprised on how many people don't do this. Maybe I think uh, I think that entire month from like, so basically you like, have to find a parachute. Like, what if yes, yeah, only like 400 people would know how to NFT and everything. What are you gonna do if, to get that other like yeah, 800 so, people? Yeah. So what we're gonna do basically is like. It doesn't need to be 1,200. We're going to do 1,200 on midday and say it turns out to be 900. We'll make 70 leagues instead of 100. If yeah. it turns out to be 600, we'll make 50 leagues. Instead you have of enough interns you can get on a call with yeah. X amount of people to show them how. You mean you you I'm, you started my wallet. Yeah, I'm not worried. Yeah, exactly. So, like, you know what I mean? You could like do a how-to also. You need to. Oh, we are, yeah, we're making tons yeah, of videos yeah, yeah, on how-tos, yeah. of course, yeah. So basically, the, like, the, the hype video drops two weeks from today, and then from that date, like June 16th until August 1st, there's going to be like... Boots on the ground, hand to hand combat, getting all twelve hundred people fucking signed up and like comfortable with NFTs in their wallets and shit like that. That's what it's gonna be. So like we have that pitch, that video or whatever. Like if you're interested, here's the website to find out more. I wrote up like a nine thousand FAQ section on the yeah. site. That as well as like here's the Discord to join. So we have our own per we have our own Discord just for the bash. So it's like people that are interested, are like, oh, I don't know anything about this. Well, if like, okay, I'm gonna we'll go talk to that guy, or like here's the videos we made for you. We we're actually thinking through like funny content ideas on creating um like how-to videos so we're gonna have like how-to's of like, animals gonna sit down like go through the wallet and do like a teachable video yeah but we thought it'd be funny if like we brought i guess you already know how to do it so it's not a good example but like in that room where we have the window looking through yeah if we like set up you know you one chains etc in there and we're like okay you guys watch the how-to video we did and we're going to watch you through the screen <laughs> and like impractical uh, jokers. Like, yeah, yeah. We're going to watch you, but like also be informational because yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to go through and like be like, wait, I don't understand this part or whatever. Yeah. So we're thinking about content on top of like that's cool. the how to content. You should definitely do like a customer service like station, uh -huh. <laughs> like them with all the headphones and shit. Yeah. That'd be funny. Yeah. So a lot of it's going to be, we, we knew that when we undertook it, like in 70 to 80% of the manual work is going to be teaching people why they even want to be part of it and like how to physically do it, you know? All of it sounds awesome. And finally, you're a man of your word and actually getting some stuff done, which is what does, nice. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Psych, I do know. What, whatever happened to the other YouTube video uh, channel? I got busy. So what are you going to do? Not, uh, is that ever going to happen? It will, when I have time. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my big question. No, I, actually, when I was going on BDG, I saw your stupid face like next to it. Like, I guess that's the profile of your YouTube channel. Oh, for mine? Yeah, and yeah. I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was like, oh, shit, I forgot about um, that. Yeah, I mean, this just took up way more time than I imagined it. I mean, there's it's half and half. It's like... Uh, I feel like you just always have too many ideas. And then, like, sometimes ideas just stay in your head, and you're like, wait, let me tell everybody. No, 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 that's, that, that is going to happen. Like, that's like a... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> that's like um I be I believe in that more than like anything I'm working on or a project that I I want to do. I think that's like my escape route to anything I want in life. Like, I, I genuinely I, believe that. I do I I also agree with you, but I also think you sorely at, underestimate that every year you get less and less time to no, do no, things. No, this, is, like. this, this is this is, is the this year is the where year. everything gets better yeah, and my life is, is gets better. It is. <laughs> I'm it. so happy. 
Um, <laughs> are you done? If I can't do this. I'm gonna have fucking uh, animal host this. Okay, go. I'm sorry. I don't remember what I was gonna. I'm just sweating my. Fucking it, it's hot in here, dude. You gotta so have to figure this here. out. We'll it's just a, put a fan back there. But it's gonna be too like noisy. These things are fucking bullets, dog. Are they? Well, we're gonna we're gonna, gonna finish this in the sweat. Yeah, we're gonna finish I'm this. In. Let's go shirtless. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, I almost had to go shirtless in my car, so I'm using my dad's old car. You drove the, here? No, no, no. Like, overall in uh, life now. Has no air conditioning. Welcome. That driver's seat window doesn't go down. It's. It, I feel like Ace Ventura in the Rhino. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm sweating to work every single day. Dude, I, I, I went through that. Remember when I had the car? At least your window went down. Kelly, it didn't go up. <laughs> it was 100. <laughs> I was stuck on a bridge every day. I was sitting on the GW in fucking traffic, <laughs> like, boiling. It's bad. Yeah, it was horrible. Um, where you, oh, the other YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, I want to start it. My only thing is, like, that's one thing I don't want to go have. I don't want to, like, I want to make sure I have a good plan going into that, you know? I don't want to commit to, like, two videos a week and then be like, fuck, I can only do one this week or <laughs> half of one or some shit like that. So because it's important to me, I want to make sure I do it right. There's that part of me that's like you're just being a fucking little bitch right now and it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. You know, like, I'm getting scared by perfection. No, I think you're doing a good job not doing it because I feel like you are actually... This is the first time you. I'm like, yeah, you're you're a hundred times busier than you ever said you were. Yeah, that's factored in. So, I, listen, at the end of the day, I'm just I'm not trying to like. I know I I wanted to do it. I know I said I was going to do it. I just like don't want to judge myself the fact that I got into some other shit and I have to do it. No, and that makes sense. That's a lot of life though. I feel like is like it's okay to want to do things. It's okay to you know even say you're going to do things and then change your fucking mind. You know, like it's, yeah, if you can go about and not judge yourself on that, like say you want to do something one day, you don't want to do it the next day. It's like. Who'd you make a promise to? The person that you made a promise to, don't, they don't give a fuck. They forgot That's about what you, the promise that you fucking made. As long made. as you say that, then I think you're fine. Yeah. It's like, I still very much want to do that. That's that's not something that's not happening. It's just the timeline probably got pushed back a little bit. I get you. Um, are, are you excited for the um, like NFL to start? Or do you you want more time? Or <laughs> how do you uh, feel? Dude, this, I mean, things are going by so quickly that it's yeah. like, I'm, I'm excited for it. Yeah. It still feels like it's a while away. Um, I'm more excited for it this year for sure than I would have been in previous years. Because, what, okay, so the other thing with the bash, too, is, like, the we'll, we'll be able to make so much fucking content around it. So, so plainly and simply, like, the goal of the bash, like, if I could put a one-sentence slogan on it, is to create the most anticipated, engaging, documented, high-stakes fantasy football league in the world, right? That's, yeah. that's what I want to make. And we have the manpower to do all of that. We can keep it engaging because we're creative. We can obviously document it. We have 98 fucking cameras going all at once. And um, the anticipation is just about us building hype. We could do that. And um, with that comes like really natural content creation around it. So any piece of content I would normally do, I could just base it around the bash. And we're all going to be in it. You know, like you could literally be in it if you want to. Like I'll send you a fucking NFT to be in the league if you want to. I'll just take the NFT. It's only 1,200, 1,200 spots in the fantasy football league. I'll take the this 600. This is strictly utility based. I don't even know. It's, it's actually really sad. I don't even know how to play. You could follow Or along. do you think... I've consumed so much fantasy football information over the last seven years that I would actually understand. Uh, you know, you know what fantasy football is. Am I that little like? kid that like you know gets all the knowledge and just sucks it in his head? No, you know what fantasy football is is like to you. It's like it's like uh, me. Sex. I don't get it. <laughs> me, <laughs> me trying to learn another language. Pretty much. It's like it just doesn't work for me. PPR. Like no matter. Yeah, you know what? No super, no super flex. Like old, old fucking Ablo. Ablo, you just keep yelling at me. Nothing sticks. You know. It ain't mean? our ball. It ain't our ball. Is that a Spanish word? You never seen the LeBron James? He's like, it's not our ball, and our ball is tree. Okay. I thought it was funny. Don't speak to me in another language. <laughs> it just doesn't work, you know? Like, yeah. It six years of Spanish, don't remember a fucking thing from it. I think that's fantasy football with you. Yeah. You need to be 100%. in it and need to be, like, making mistakes and, like, fucking up. And, like, you you need to want to learn. That's that's really what it comes yeah. down to. You, yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. you don't care. You I don't know what care. I mean? I know. Yeah. That's why it will never work for you. I'm like, go sports. I support you. But you should be in the bash. Oh, fuck it, I'll do it. I mean, how much is it? You can sell it. I'll, I'll give you one. Oh, but I have oh, to. $250. Wow, what is fucking steal? <laughs> Honestly, it fucking will be. That's a thing. Yeah. If we do this correctly in like a year, two years down the line, you know, flip it for 30 bucks. <laughs> Imagine it. That's. Um, but yeah, like uh, the reason I was excited about in season stuff is because they're all in the bash. I want to make all our content bash related. They're all in the bash. Therefore, I don't have to do individual content much. It's going to be nice to have like one like funnel. Yes. Of content to just branch yeah. out. Yeah. I don't feel nice. like I need to be like doing five individual videos a week during the season. Right. You think this will do... affect E-Town Get Down? Like, or do you want to yeah, absorb sure. that 
Maybe uh, they should absorb that into the bash. Well, a lot. Of, that's the thing. It's like it's like well, pay your dues in there and then go into the bash. Make them into one group. That's actually interesting, right? And then that could be the goal. If they don't want to do it, then they sell an NFT and if someone gets get down, league. that's a prize group. They're not going to go for it because why not? I mean, that league. Oh, literally, all they do is complain. I'm. Gonna, I could be. I could go in there and be like, I'm giving away everyone a hundred dollars, saying that why the fuck is it not two hundred dollars? Like for no reason. Like that's yeah. what they do. A bunch of boomers. They, so if they have to do anything that like revolves doing any work, out. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like it's just, like a very toxic league for sure. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying. But, but if you just like maybe try, it's a great fucking idea. Yeah. If it was like if it was like cooler people, it it work for sure. Wow, yeah, a lot of harsh words. Yeah. So happens you're the commission. You know, you're like their fucking parents all the time. Well, I saw that um, baseball player that slapped some other baseball player. And I was like, dude, this shit, shit. And like he came back the next day and was like, these are the league rules. It's like, yeah. go catch a ball. Like go do your job. What's wrong with you? Serious. Care about fantasy. Job. Fantasy football, man. You should Bruins. take notes on him. Dude, probably end my relationship. That's a great idea, though. Having E Town as one of the fucking leagues. In just bench. saying, you know, I'm not um, here just to, but, but what we're, to podcast. It's literally the only thing you're here for. Yeah, 100%. So, what we're going to do is like, we're going to do long form weekly content on the bash, obviously. So, that would like take the place of what Fade the Public was. Yeah. But like, Snacks is going to be in the bash. One oh, change is going to be in the it, Snacks is in. Although, I, I haven't talked about him, but yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to send it to him for free. Why not? It's just yeah. a league for him to play in. So, I would like to get everybody that's like, the other thing about E Town Get Down is, like we want we we want to document a league and have fun doing it, but like they're never on our podcast. Like we're not actually documenting the league. We're just yeah, talk, it's just we're, you three of you guys talking yeah. about a league that but you're if, in. But if Ike is in it, Tony's in it, Sexy's in it, One Chain, Snacks, you, whatever, whoever, yeah, everyone makes that's sense, involved is involved. Yeah. Like I could not be here, and like literally, you could be on a fantasy football podcast and be like, I don't really know what happened, but like this guy in my league went nuts in the you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, I think it's a great uh, transition because I feel like E Town Get Down has such a pivotal role in BDG, but it was not. Pivotal you know I mean? in BDG. We can give that same energy to the bash and, and to the same like, people. Yeah. You know, like I, I would happily give one to like Lunch and George and all those yeah. guys if they wanted to do I it. I think the thing is with like fantasy football leagues too, there's people that love it and people that have just been doing it for 30 years. And it's like, well, got to well, still do it. it out, you right? know, so. I'd ask the guys in the E-Town yeah. got down. Like not even because I think. I've had inside sources. I know like one person, it's going to be the last year, you know. This is the last year? Yeah. Eric. It's two people. Are you going to really out? Yeah. Two people. Life changes, man. Life changes. Definitely ain't Steen. Uh, I can I'm see, not telling you. I can see. Or, well, I'm trying to run through it now. Me, Animal Snacks, no. Um, not one chains. It's four. So it's Joe, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Jason, isn't it? Damn. <laughs> Jay Bird. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> hate to see it. Yeah, I thought I had. A, I thought I was a stone wall. Uh, well, what? all I had to do was go down the list and be like, "Who, <laughs> you who of these people me. have you talked to in the last five fucking years?" Yeah, that's <laughs> it was true. like three people on the list. Yeah, nah. Yeah. He was like, he he would want to stay in. He's like, I'm such a mid level guy, and it's just like it's been the same for him forever. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I've well, kind of wondered why he kept buying back. Yeah, in he's like, year. I love them, but like, you know, yeah. And that's what I mean. Like, we never yeah. kept it like engaging enough yeah. because we weren't around each other enough. No, so I do agree. I think this is a great transition. Yeah, what the easy fuck? Tr- he just lifted his pants all the way to his titties. Who? Animal. What do you mean his pants? Oh, <laughs> like, like, like all the way up. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've seen. My mom does that. Hell yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so got a lot going on, brother. Yeah, so that's business. It's all going to be done and f- now fucking sh- finished. Now shift to your favorite part. How you doing personally? Hate that. Love that. Like the business. Nope. I got a thing. We're going. Close the door. Open another. Um, you have a girlfriend. I do not. No. Do you want a girlfriend? That's like that's like a dumb question. This is a stupid question. Why? Are you talking to anybody? Yeah. I mean, I'm still with <clears throat> Bee Stings. <laughs> I don't know if I want to drop the name. I don't know if she'd want me to drop the name. I don't think she'd give a fuck. I feel like she had another name and you just disrespected her. Well, they actually, I think they only know her as Beast Things. Wow. Um, How does that feel? Are you asking me? Well, hopefully she watches this and she'll shoot me a text. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, I mean, it's 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 fun. It's good. Yeah? Have you been going out and shit? Like, I literally, for the last six weeks, haven't done anything. Uh, so yeah, I've barely, like, I've yeah. barely gone out. Yeah. Went out, like, over MDW for, like, one night, like, yeah. for a second. But, I've, dude, I'm, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm almost, like, obsessed with this, like, what we're doing yeah. here. But not in like, I've always been obsessed with it, but I'm to the point where like, I don't even, it, probably in like a toxic, to a toxic level where I'm like, I don't even want to do other things. Cause like on the off chance, it fucks with like what you're doing, my drive here. for this right now, but that's a really bad way to live. I think. Yeah. I think you're not one to do this, but I, like, I, like I already texted you just like 
June 12th brunch. Yeah. Like, uh, I was all in. I made a reservation how, already. Did you? Yeah, like five minutes after that. <laughs> For how many people? I don't remember. I don't remember where or how many people. I think I like eight, you just maybe two. eight. No. <laughs> just you and, you you and think no one else coming? <laughs> had they already put on our, our calendar, so. Um, nah, it's funny because I was like, I was like, Heather, I feel like I'm on a mountain. And usually, like, I, that, I told you, I started to go to therapy, right? And then um, she's a beast. She's like a robot, which I love. But she was like saying, like, yeah, you've always been in a mountain, but you've been able to climb it. But now the mountain is just there, and you just can't get any higher. And I'm like, she was making fun of your looks? I'm, why? How? You're a mountain dog. Oh, God, here we go. You see? I'm, trying <laughs> Sorry, to, I'm, trying to, I'm sad and over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I was like, yeah, dude. I, I looked at Let's my Say cal- that again? Because I didn't. So, like, at, like I've always, I'm a, I compart- car- compartmentalize. Thank you. Like, things like, okay, this week I'll do this. This, you know, I'm very, like, um. I do things, I eat my broccoli first and then my mashed potatoes and then my steak. I don't ever mix it together. And that's what I do in life. And now I'm like looking at my schedule. I'm like, I don't have free time literally until November, but then work will get busy. And then I won't have time until January. I'm like, when does it stop? She's like, yeah, you're part of that. You're in that life where you just think there's nothing. I'm like, yeah, dude. <laughs> like, it's a lot. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was like, give me some water. This is a lot. But I was like, shit, can you help me? She's like, oh, we're working. I'm like, nah, can you help me like right now? I need this, but yeah. Guess it's gonna take time. Fuck that. Every other fucking Thursday. If short term therapist, because that's what I need. Dude, man. Like, get me to Whoever does week, that is gonna brother. be loaded. How many, how many sessions have you gone to? Two? So far? Yeah, and then I think next week's three or four. I don't remember. You do it once a week? Every bi week. Um, fuck that. It's expensive. Is it? I'm going bi weekly. Bi weekly? Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna take you years to I told her. I was like, yeah, my feelings are gonna have to wait every other <laughs> week, bro. It's too expensive. I'm gonna be sad one week. Okay, the We're next. We need towels in here. I'm sweltering. Yeah, you're, you're, it's tough right now for you. I feel great. This is Austin. This is Austin, <laughs> Texas. Do you think I picked the worst month to go to Austin, Texas for my bachelor party? Um, um, oh, you're taking the heat on that? I love that. Let's go. I thought I picked that. Fuck. I'm not sure who. I don't know. I'll take half. Okay. Actually, I think I, rem- I, I remember, I think I told you one night when we were out, I was like, yeah. you need to pick like a weekend so I could start. I think I just picked a random one. You did, like July 14th. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure, dude. It's going to be like 4,000 degrees. Fuck there. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Every time I've, I've reached out to like three or four people that live in Austin or have lived there. And I'm like, yeah, we're going in uh, like July. Do you have any like recommendations? First thing they say, it's almost like when I pitch the people to Bash and you're like, I don't know anything about NFTs. I'm like, I don't care. It's like, give me feedback on the project. I'm like, what can we do fun in Austin? It's going to be so. It's going to be really fucking hot. I'm like, didn't ask. I have the weather app too. Piss me off. Damn. Yeah. It's going to be tough. Like we're going to be on boat though. Yeah, I'm excited. For four hours of that weekend. That's it? You want a longer I one? wanted 19 hours with you no sunscreen. That. We can get that. No food. That's fine. Just You're just talking to a guy who doesn't care about either of those things. You you don't care about sunscreen? No. You make me put sunscreen on your back almost every hour. I don't care, though. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited for my bachelor yeah! party, though. I was like seeing Heather. I was like, I, w- I want to go out with my fucking boys, dude. I like they were there for. So they were there for so fucking long. long they, they left there Wednesday, like red eye, I think. Like Tuesday, red eye, or Wednesday night. Wednesday night, sorry, yeah, okay. Wednesday night, and like she came home like Monday eight a.m. and she tried to like she was like still in her bathing suit. <laughs> like, I was like, go take a shower. Like, don't come into this fucking room. Ew. Yeah, it's gross. grimy, Heath. What the yeah, fuck? they were some gross ass bitches over there. It looked, fu- it looked like fun. They had a lot of fun. I can't really tell what they did. It just, I mean, honestly, very I, Vegas-y I was, trip. I was like talking to my sister. She's like, yeah, it's definitely that first bachelorette party. All they did was drink, <laughs> like nothing else. I'm like, well, yeah, they're like 29, 26. Like 30, I don't know. Dude. Yeah, we're going to, no, yeah, we're probably just going to drink all the time. See, that, that's why I'm trying to plan it. And I'm like, like, I'm not trying to like fucking go to a museum. You're not? <laughs> Maybe. But that's what I'm saying. Like, we have three nights there. And Do I'm we? like. What time are we flying? Night, Friday night, Saturday night. Oh, I thought we got there pretty late. No, nah, I think most people just got there. I think we got it so that, like, by the time we get there, we can get into our Airbnb. It's like five ish. But, like, we're there for three nights. We're going to be like, oh, we just got here at five. We're just not going to go out tonight. Like, no, we're not going to do that. Facts. So it's like, okay, we go out Friday night or Thursday night, but it's like, we want to go somewhere. I mean, I feel like but the whole point of bachelor parties is like to make yourself feel inclusive for the entire weekend, right? Yeah. Make it feel like you're like elevated for the weekends. Like we're there to fucking go nuts. We're there to like celebrate you guys. Yeah. It's not like, oh, we're trying to go to a packed bar and like stand there like fucking sardines. hundred percent. Yeah. You know? So it's like, do we do that every night? Like, I don't know. Do we just do, we send it Thursday night. We got the boat Friday, Friday night. We can go like a nice dinner afterwards. Cause yeah. maybe we'll be shot from the boat Saturday. We fucking run we'll a brunch. Again. Run Love a muck. Yeah. yeah, but then like yeah. Sunday nights, like, do I plan like a nice like going out? Like, do we get a table or something for? Yeah, sec- just pick someone that has central air. 
Okay. <laughs> Come back here. Chili's. We have the HQ. Popping. You don't have it. Yes, sure you. So don't say that. Heather's literally gonna yell at me. I mean, we're getting strippers. I don't want strippers. Well, it's not up to you. It's up to me. How is it up to you? I'm planning it's my, it. But it's you're lucky I even ask you about. Like, you're lucky I'm stupid. If I wasn't stupid, I wouldn't even ask you about things. You should though. It's for me. It's for me. No, it, it's how? for us. No, it's not. It's for the fucking. You literally boy. rewind the tapes. It says you are doing this to celebrate me. To celebrate me shipping you off. Yeah, it's a cel- It's a R celebration for you. <laughs> How's the new apartment? Love it. Yeah. Good neighbors. Still haven't met a single neighbor yet. Good walls. Uh, yeah. Don't hear much of, of the neighbors. How many times have you made that f- uh, alarm go off? Zero. I don't think there. There can't be an alarm because I smoked <laughs> that fucking place up <laughs> weekly. I think if it is, it's like all the way by my. You've been. You. you yeah, yeah. I went once, took a dump, left. Love that. that. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I came in with that really tight shirt. Yeah, it's sexy. It's actually still there, or you probably threw it out. No, nah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's been there, and it's moved around 50 times. <laughs> I always pick it up. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this doing here? You can have Garbage. It. So how do you feel about this team? I'm looking. They all look busy. They all look pretty fucking busy, except Animal now staring at us. I don't know if Animal's like playing Xbox or working. What's Ike doing? Uh, Ike's watching Joe Rogan podcast. But I... Th- but I think is Ike a racist? But I think that's like part of figuring out how to put up the cameras in here correctly. Uh, sexy. He's just literally. He's smiling over there. He's like the Joker. Oh my God! He looked at us when. <laughs> <laughs> sexy. He's just. Uh, he just literally edits TikToks all day. He's just happy to be here, huh? He's a workhorse. Yeah. How's he doing? Good. He's just edits all day. Why are you guys so mean to him? He edits all day because he like he's a fucking dork. He's Canadian. They're just so nice. And that's what I mean. Do you think he goes to bed every night like? Good night, Nick. Good night, <laughs> Animal. Good night, Ike. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Like stairs of your hats or some shit. Uh, a little further past him. No, nah, he's he's he's, he's cool. got a he's spot chill. for himself. Like he's moving out. He said June tenth, or he got a roommate. Like I'm no, so he uh, so Julia's best friend, or not best friend. I don't know why I said that, but a friend that she has that lives in Brooklyn is going out to like Lake Tahoe for the summer. Leaves like June tenth. Oh, so nice. she's like. I wasn't even going to give it to anybody, but if you want to, like, take it over for, like, a really, really steep discount, I was like, I, don't, I mean, I'm not going to make him fucking sleep here for the entire summer. Unless. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, if he wants to, he could stay here. He's more than happy to, but it gets fucking hot. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, he's got this fucking blow-up mattress <laughs> in the front fucking aisle over there. So, is, is I'm so confused by what you guys are doing with him. I don't is know. Is he just either. here for the summer? No, his visa expires at, like, Christmas time. So, he wants to stay. Yeah. Like, he's staying. I mean, he, w- he wants to stay, and he's staying. <laughs> Two different proposals there. Dude, that's nuts. He doesn't know this, but we'll have to figure it out as we go. I'm going to start paying him in July, probably, and then we'll figure it out. Are you I don't, allowed to pay him? I have to be paying. I'm actually supposed to be paying him right now. Oh, I thought you weren't on. supposed to. I don't know, dude. Bas- well, it, it's difficult dude, because... I, Homeland Security is going to come knocking at this door. I wish a motherfucker would. I think, dude, the other night, so he texts us at, like, 1 a.m. This is crazy. He texts at, like, 1 a.m., He's like, yo, someone just came into the hallway and screamed out, if you're not supposed to be here, leave. This was in our building, apparently. And he went over to the window, and he said he looked down, and there was a dude with a video camera, like, pointing up to our window. This was at, like, 1 a.m. But I'm like, that can't have been for us. It can't have been, like... They would have came. They right, like, they would have just knocked on the door and just been like, what a... Are, it's are your guys, office. Are you you guys stay working? here no we matter what. We have access what. 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. So... Maybe a homeless guy. Yeah, that's what I that's what I assumed as well. Um, and he's probably like watching TV, so they're like, like yeah. So I don't know. He fucking <laughs> he he smushed a fucking blow up mattress, put it like in the corner over here, and slept on the little green couch in my office that night. I walked in the next day. There was a little pillow. I was like, you did not sleep on this fucking couch. <laughs> Good morning, Nick. Good morning, <laughs> animal. Good morning, Ike. Um. That's so fun. That yeah, is. so basically his visa process, like, we straight up, like, smuggled them in here pretty much. Because my dad was like, yeah, it's going to take a month, and then you're like, sexy Pat's coming tomorrow. Well, it, was was, like, it, like, should have taken months, but we... Skirt! 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 And he's here now. <laughs> yes. Stop and that. he's here now, but the yeah. visa program that he's on is, like, you're paying him... It's 32 to 45 hours, and you have to pay the minimum wage of wherever he's working, which is like $15 an hour. Gotcha. It's fine, but like originally, so Sexy calls me one. I'll just tell the backstory for the people out there, but he calls me one night, and he's like, I have a proposal. Well, he's like, first, he's like, I want to get on like a call with you, a video call. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, we never do that, right? So he just does that. I'm like, okay, sure. 
and I, I, I had a feeling it was going to be something like this related. I didn't know if it was BDG related or not, or if he just needed like advice, advice about something. Yeah. And we get on, he's like, I want to work for you full time. I've been editing Mike's video for like a year now, whatever. Um, here's what I could do for you. He's basically like, I can, I could, I know how to grow TikTok. Like I'll take that over. I'll do the edits for you, whatever. And I knew he was like telling the truth. I was like, I know you could do that for us, but like we already have four or five full-time salaries. Yeah. I can't really afford to put you on. I'm broke. Yeah. <laughs> I can't really afford to put you on the payroll. And he was like, what if I worked for free? Or I was like, wait, I can, he's like, I was like, how about if you come and work until like, I don't actually remember how it came about, but it came about to where it was like, okay, if you work here until like July, I can give you a job after that or something. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of where we are. But the only way to get into the country was through this visa, which I'm supposed to be paying him like full time basically for. Yeah. So it's kind of like, I don't know. You're, you're going to retro pay him, right? No. Right? Yes. Okay. Nice. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, all. that's great. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> what's you know what's crazy? I was thinking about um about BDG. Like you're working with people that like want to work for you and the brand, and that's an out of control, like thing to think about. I haven't. The last time I worked, I have worked around people that didn't want to do what we were doing. It was like s- fucking six years. That's ago. out of control. Yeah. I've low key tried to start nine revolutions in the last <laughs> seven seven days. I know you keep planting fucking things in all their ears. Yeah, <laughs> not no, not no, no, for my company that I work for. Like literally every day, I'm like, you're trying to <laughs> cause an uprising. Oh, all the time. When someone's like, I'm so pissed. I'm like, yeah, what's up, <laughs> me man? Too, dude. Call me your brother. <laughs> like I'm really pumped, but no, everyone's scared. It's big. It's a big company. I saw something. They take one person down. Like he's like can't find a job i'm i'm gonna sell bed sheets and i was like oh my god it's like don't talk don't call me i, I gave him my work phone instead i was like call this number if you're gonna talk shit like i don't want any part of this like yeah dude i feel like i work for the mob like the world mob yeah i feel like a lot of companies are like i feel like if it's a big all big companies are mobs it's much. out of control <sighs> enough about me <laughs> enough about you. Enough about me. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, what else is going on with you? So you got the job, maybe, hopefully soon. Yeah, uh, this is. You know what's funny about this is every time I tell you about a job, I'm like, this is perfect for me. I am the man about this. I know everything. Like this job. You know what that is? Your jobs are like my draft guides. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like bring it up. It's like next year we've got it. Like it's the oh real God. ones coming. You know, but this job is like way too big for me, and I don't even know the requirements. It's a lot, dude. Like yeah. when you told me, it's basically. I mean, you t- tell them. Yeah. So essentially, is. hopefully by next week, I it should be finalized. I don't even know. I, I might be happy if I don't get it. Like this might be the first time. I'm like, oh, okay. Feels like a. It feels like a win win lose lose proposition. Yeah. It's just like I'll be. In, I'm the global protection manager that's like period and i, I was like you gotta what say that better like uh, the way it's you a horrible it. title it's global, global protection, protection manager. manager and i was like okay that sounds I feel like you can't have like global and like manager in the same because manager seems like very like it, uh, they just made like the title just to get it out there on like our you, it should it's just a working title take manager out <laughs> yeah i'm global protection yeah that's fucking fire and so i'll be in charge of anything in the whole globe <laughs> of high jewelry of their security so any See, that feels like out of control responsibility. Yeah. So for any person, event yeah. that's globally, I would be in charge of that. That's typically from two hundred to seven hundred million dollars worth of merchandise. So one question: When do they start to sponsor the draft weekend? <laughs> never. They can never know about us. You're like my side bitch. You ain't never coming home, baby. So they don't know you do this. No, you know this. What company you work for? Ikea. <laughs> yeah, no, it's out of control. I, I read, like, what I'm in charge of and what I need to be, like, have to do. And I'm like, they're like, yeah, if you get this job, you'll be in the executive um, floor. I was like, wait, like, why? Like, me? Like, what do I have to do there? I'm going to be honest. Like, I love you. Yeah. And I know you're capable of great things. But this feels like, uh, yeah. <laughs> You, what you're doing is what's happening in my brain right now. Yeah, basically. no, <laughs> every, like it feels like a lot. Oh yeah, so much. And I'm just like Heather will be happy. Who who ends up happy with this job, for real? Like you? <laughs> Have you talked to your therapist about this job? Yeah. Yeah. She's like, wow. So she didn't have like. Any I'm not really good at explaining things either. Yeah, I horrible. think I should just go around walking with like the 
qualifications and and like with a mirror with me. <laughs> like, do you think this guy can do this? <laughs> and um, but if I get this job, I feel like it's one of those things where um, you know, you just you got it, you just do it, and hopefully, yeah. It could be something that, like, pulls you up, though, you know? Like, it could be something that's, like, it's so high up there, but you just, like, grab onto the rope, and it's, like, by the time you're done, you're fucking a 1,000 feet higher. And 100%. Like, no, that's a, exactly what I think it is. And what's nice, too, like, I get all holidays. I work from home two days a week and three days in the city. I travel. Where? Yeah, where would you be in the city? 205th. It's, like, Italy. 205th Street? No, sorry. That's, like, the address. It's it's right on top of Italy, wherever that is. You don't have, like, an avenue or like a street? Italy. I'm not really sure where Eagle is, to be honest. Yeah. Give me my, give me your middle phone. If you, up. you can walk from Penn Station. Okay, so it's in the area. Yeah. Here. Yeah. And I get to pick what days I go in the city. I should travel once or twice. Yeah, like what's quarter. the travel schedule? It's like? at 30%, but it's like if I have one event in August, then What, what does that even mean, though? Like 30% of your work days are going to be traveled, traveling? Yeah. See, he doesn't even have time to podcast. He has to TikTok in between. I don't have time to podcast because I'm worried about my other podcasts. Is that considered a podcast? Yeah, for sure. So, really? dude, I'm like fascinated by the fucking idea of mini podcasts on TikTok. So, like, you know how, okay, so you're scrolling TikTok and you see podcasts like this. Yeah. But it's always cut up versions of longer podcasts. Yeah. What we've done with like lunch and what we've done with a lot of our TikTok just content yeah. is literally making mini podcasts. Like we yeah. make it being mini like, pods. Yeah, exactly. Mini casts. I think it's such a fucking perfect fit for that type of uh, platform rather than doing like individual. <laughs> Dude, like the way it came about was crazy. Cr like, did I tell you about like why, it, like how it became like popular like that? Um, no. We were doing like a live stream. We had always done like the ice lunch where it was just um, Tony going around and like filming us individually. Yeah, we we're doing a lot. I saw mock, that. Yeah, mock yeah. draft one day. We just did it from there, and. F, that was the first one that popped off. And we're like, there's something here with like just doing podcasts from the couch. And since then, we've just been ripping everything like that. It's all worked like fucking phenomenally. It's so uh, odd what TikTok likes and what like what works on there. It's just it's just like mind numbing fucking content. Dude, when Vine came, you remember how addicted I was? That's why I didn't want to get TikTok. Now I'm on it because I want to watch you guys. You remember? Like, I hate I'll it. Yeah. Dude, I'm just I found myself at night doing it too, and I'm like, and I only did it. I was not addicted to it until I was on there just checking our shit. Well, whoever does the algorithm for fucking TikTok is a mad scientist. Well, dude, you know why? It's like every single. Um, we were talking about this the other day, but like every single piece of content on TikTok, every video you put out is like its own channel in a sense. It's like the way they filter your for you page is only the best of the best videos. You know yeah. I mean? No, like you don't follow anybody, and if you do, you don't go to their page to like follow you and Doja Cat. Yeah, like every this random yeah, Doja Cat's white guy, goat. Yeah, but like no one really like. Okay, sometimes you do. You might go to the page and look at some of the videos, but like you don't do that consistently. Not yeah, like yeah, you yeah. subscribe to someone for YouTube or anything like that. It's like literally, it's just like okay, on our for you page is the best of the best creators and the best of their best videos, and it's just like you know, what fire I mean? after fire after. Yeah, fire. so it's like a crazy platform where like one thing can just not work at all. You could put a video up that gets five thousand views, and it doesn't matter. Because, like, if your next piece of content is good, that's going to perform on its own by itself. Yeah. Which is fucking crazy. Congratulations. Nah, you think I'm going to ask for... You really thought I was going to ask for what? For your su success. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't trust you at all. Why? I don't know. It felt like a punchline was coming there. Or you say congratulations. Say like, thank for you. What? And I don't want to say thank you. We didn't do anything. Can't compliment something that didn't happen. We don't have success. I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke, depressed. And fucking sweaty. <laughs> what do you want from me? Nothing. I'm going to leave this fucking sauna. Dude, we're fine. No. Power through. For what? Dude, this is like the first day of tr uh, training camp, like two days. I don't I don't the, play sports. The, exactly. This is your sport. Why? Because. For what? You want equity. I. No. I just want cash, homie. We don't got that. I want you to just pay my bills. You can sleep here. What the Technically, fuck? Technically, if you, if you slept here, I'd be paying your bills. How? Because I pay the fucking bills here. Yeah, but if I slept here, I still have an apartment that sh that has bills. Get out the lease. I can't. I know a lawyer. No, you don't. I don't know any. You know no lawyers. I'm a, I, at this point, I'm almost a lawyer. I would say I almost am a lawyer and a doctor. <laughs> this is a problem with our generation. <laughs> fucking the youths like you. <laughs> I'm older than you. No, you're not. Dude, it's fine. Fucking, I'm out of here. Wait, wait. There's something else. What? I can't remember. Baby. <laughs> Congratulations. 
It's not even my soundboard. On what? I don't even know how to fucking use it. Hold on. How do we usually no, end shut it? Up. How, how do we usually end it? <laughs> Why are you yelling? No, no. That's not how we usually end it. We usually have the rapid fire segment. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, where we do those 30 questions quick. Okay. So Wait, do it. Do I? I? I've never done this before. We always do What's your favorite color? Yep. All right, so yep. my favorite color. No, it's rapid fire. You don't fucking say it back. Yeah, I'm just, this is how I do fire. Are we done here? Are you kidding? Hit, hit the fucking button, dude. You're a piece of shit. It's so quiet in here. Yeah. I don't like this. It's mm -hmm. a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot of light. We're in a real studio. Is this the first time you're filming in a studio? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. This is a lot. A lot of product. Produ you in the last four months. I'll tell you what. That's why we got it. The business down. You don't. <laughs> you, you don't like it, but imagine you walked in here and we didn't have this. You'd be like, "What the fuck is?" One hundred percent. This is out of control. I'm like sweating. I feel like this is my first time again. So you sweating right now has nothing to do with being. That's in the just studio. like it's, you're not it's having just ninety five <laughs> degrees in this fucking place. I keep texting Jesus. I'm like, dude, turn the AC on. You think after like nine days in a row of asking, you would, it would just become like, what is when does memory muscle come in? Like he just doesn't give a fuck. You ever read a study? No. I was hoping you knew when that came in. I feel like muscle. Like wait, you hit, hit him up every nine days? No, I hit him up every day for nine and straight days. He just days. never answers. Yeah, it's like when you go on like. Tell a, him you have a water leak. No, no, no. He answers sometimes. Uh, He'll like put it on. I'm just like, can you just? Leave it on every day that we're in Monday to Friday, 9 to oh, 5. You think you're the only people complaining? Like, you should go make go all the way up, all the way down. Like, hey. We haven't we met a single person in here yet. But I'm saying, like, you knocking over, like, do you guys have air conditioning? And then if collectively, if everyone says Get it. Get feedback? Yeah, do all, what is do that, mon monkey together? survey? Do we <laughs> just send it to the whole? <laughs> I got your email through. <laughs> <laughs> do we, we collectively riot, like yeah. the TikTok commenters? Yeah, just tell them to spam him. Okay. I'm in because this this can't we can't stand with this a anymore. Lot. I, I we, saw animal today. He, you know why? It also, they might be okay. It's because they can crack their windows. We can't crack ours. Why only you? That's discrimination. I agree. I've been telling them that, and he's like, "My name is Jesus. Like, it doesn't work. You're a white guy named Nick." I'm like, "Damn, damn." Do you want me to talk to him? We'll see. Yeah, I got all the power, Honestly, baby. I, I might need you to go over there. Got you. <laughs> like today after this. Where is he? He's coming. He's gonna be a guest today on the pod. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>